have different sources of knowledge that tell us that it's us humans that cause the warming of the Earth. The first one is just basic physics. We know when we burn fossil fuels, we have more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. And we know that these greenhouse gases have the property to absorb radiation and so make the atmosphere warmer. We also have observations of temperature changes and greenhouse gas changes on Earth and in the atmosphere. We also know which sources of natural variability have changed the Earth's temperature in the past. The sun, for example, and volcanic eruptions. And taking all these sources of evidence together, there is only one way we can explain the rise in temperatures we observe that is exactly in line with the rise in greenhouse gases from burning fossil fuels. And that is that these fossil fuels burning and the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere cause the warming. In a warmer climate, we expect heat waves and heavy rainfall events to increase in their likelihood and also in their intensity. And we observe these changes in many parts of the world. But how do we know that it's human-caused climate change that is responsible for these observed changes? We can use state-of-the-art climate models and simulate what is possible weather in the world we live in today with the current level of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, with the current global mean temperature of about 1.1 degree above pre-industrial levels. But we can also remove the additional greenhouse gases from the climate model's atmosphere and simulate possible weather in the world that might have been without climate change. And then we compare in these two worlds the intensity and the likelihood of different types of extreme events. And if they are different, we can attribute this difference to human-caused climate change because that's the only difference in these two simulated worlds.